Hello, this is Territorial Tom. We're out at our Walker seed cleaning facility, and this is our next installment on our plant to packet uh, series we've been doing. And we've been following along with our uh, lettuce seed production. And so the last time we were cleaning the seed with our spike tooth thrashing machine, and you saw how we blew off a lot of the light seed that came off of that, got rid of the chaff and, and all that. And so we bagged that up, and today, we're here at the seed cleaning mill, and this is the, the next step in the seed cleaning process. So today James is gonna be cleaning the seed in the, uh, we've got a three screen uh, scalper, it's called a uh, cleaning machine. And so what happens with this, it, it can clean various different types of seed depending on what slots we pick to use in a screen and we may use two or three different screens for lettuce and that's what the the seed now is coming down and you see it hitting the screen this is just a more refined way of making sure that we're only keeping the the biggest most viable seed and that's what this machine does for us uh, as you can see there's there's bits of plant material in that bucket and other debris in this one so we're uh, so that's two of the parts of the machine is separating that out. And here we have um, a lot more of the uh, more what we call conditioned or finished seed coming off. And it will go down and fall into directly into a bucket down below. And you can get a look here. That's, uh, that's what we're looking for. Good, clean seed. After it goes through the screen machine, um, and yet again, that's uh, not quite enough because we have this final machine that we're running it through, and this is called a air density separator. And what it's doing, it will blow the seed into these different chambers, and based upon the weight of the seed, it will settle into these and separate itself based upon its density into these three different chambers. So this is a way we can do a final clean. And so you can, you can I think you can even pick up where the, the, the seed in the left chamber there is a, a bit lighter in color than the rest of it. Well, what we found over time, that's gonna be the lightest seed. That will get, be discarded and thrown away. And, and if, because of that light color, it's telling us that it isn't quite as mature as the rest of the seed. We're going to be concentrating on the first two bins, and there's not a lot of difference in density between those two, and uh, that's what finally makes its way into the, uh, the packets of Territorial. Now that we've got the seed all density separated, I think you're starting to understand how each process along the way is very important, and it's important that we're always trying to high grade the seed as we go. We did that as we saw with the three screen scalping machine. We've done it again and got rid of a more immature seed. Remember the light seed we saw, that went away. So we're left with the highest, heaviest, densest seed. And usually that's the highest germing seed we could possibly supply to you. But, but yet we've got one more step along the way. And what we're gonna do next time is show you what we do in the grow outs of this particular lot to ensure it's of highest quality. Until next time, this is Territorial Tom. Remember, cheap seed is always more expensive than quality seed.